Several national sports teams are removing mascots depicting Native Americans. The Washington professional football team did so in the spring, and the Cleveland Indians will retire the name after the 2021 baseball season. And as our Victoria Balderrama reports, one Native American tribe is pushing for change right here in the coastal bend as well. People walking into Toloso Midway High School in Corpus Christi will notice a sign before you enter the building. Home of the Warriors and Cherokees. And it's not just the high school represented by the indigenous character, but also the primary, intermediate, and middle school. Community members of the Lapan Apache tribe of Texas say they have taken notice. Their mascot is a hideous looking uh, character. And I don't see how that can inspire a football team. Council member Tom Bearclaw says he is okay with the school being represented as warriors, but says the mascot is disrespectful. You're depicting that those are those type of people are those that that's what they do. They're fierce savages. Both Bearclaw and Juan Solis Garcia, secretary of the Lipan Apache tribe of Texas, say they have experienced the stereotyping of their Native American heritage. And according to the National Congress of American Indians, these stereotypes can lead to an employer discriminating against indigenous people. This is why the NCAI says one of its missions is to continue eliminating such references. Teams, they would, you know, they always make signs and they would say scalp the warriors. Garcia says the Texas Secretary of Education has set guidelines discouraging the use of Native American mascots in schools, but that change has to start closer to home. So the community should press the school board to make changes, to not to use Indians as their mascots. Bearclaw says he would request Toloso Midway to make one change. Have a group of them and represent all of them as warriors. While there is no school this week, I did reach out to Toloso Midway on December 15th, following up a few days later. I also reached out to Toloso Midway ISD Superintendent Dr. Rick Fernandez. And I did not receive a response from any of my inquiries. We also posted this question on our Chris 6 Twitter page, asking you to weigh in. And as of 7 p.m. on December 21st, 65% of people say they would not support the name change, while 33% said they would support it. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 Sunrise.